Yo, welcome back. This is Rocky Rootin, aka Old Timers Gaming. Hope everybody's doing great and having a good day slash night, whatever it is for you. Let's get on started with this gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. I think I pronounced it right. Here's the station thing right here. We stopped here last time, so here's where we're getting ready to go today. We're waiting for this. Are we're going to put an end to Halo. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Sounds fun. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. May I ask you about Mr. Bickle's friends? Of course. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being. Meet me here. Okay. Rebellio. Philbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Hello, Hamora. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. 
Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I'm gonna go across the bridge. I'll take care of Hollow. And what's left of him gets stowed in jail. Yeah, I about forgot I could go here. Rebellion. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Well, I'll be all right. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, please tell me you didn't take Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, We've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man, and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Well, I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Revelio. Hmm. Alohomora.
Revelio. Hmm. Usually when there's upstairs, there's something up there. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Hen. Perhaps I'll find her there. Hope everybody's doing great and enjoying their day. Uh, or not, whatever it is for you. Revelio. Ah, burn, there's a lot of stuff in this place. Revelio. Natty's oh. wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> you get one by the Matty must have been taken this way. I need to find her. led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! The hidden door. That you must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Well, I want to be seen. Oh, 
think you're gonna beat me? You're a rat. You need a bigger army Rebellion. if you're gonna take me out. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Revelio. Ah, uh, it just Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. That he must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Uh, Rabe. I need your help. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon her wand. Rebellion. It must be blocked by something. Mr. Rage's wand could be in there. Alohomora. This locker is sometimes confusing. Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken.
Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Let's explain. Do I fight now? Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow one. Natsai Onai, I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agamus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this. Revelio. I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Next. Go here real quick because I think I got a few things I can actually. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. See if there's anything any better than what I got. It'd be kind of cool if there was, but in another way. You know, I got 20 slots left. Let's see. Okay, now let's go, let's see, locate on the map again. Go out there real quick. Hmm. 
know, in which way? Oh. Okay, the wrong way. My brain was that. Arrow. Burn it stuck on a post. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. But not keep me waiting. Okay, what's next? Rebellion. Here, I wonder. Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. I don't like that idea. Couldn't bring that. Spend the honest. Bring that. Revelio. Rebellio. Hello, Hamora. Might be interesting to see where this leads. Revelio. Good for you. Revelio. This place has seen better days. Revelio.
Hello, Homora. Rebellio. Meet me in the forbidden forest. Rebellion. If only Professor Fink could have seen that. Hello, Homura. Bring Expelliarmus. These rocks have seen better days. Couldn't bring up Expelliarmus. Rebellio. Revelio. Rebellion.
This looks intriguing. Revelio. Accio. Spada. Hello, Spada. Another spider. Here, spider, spider, spider. The pulsar. Can bring up. Influx is simply too many. Revelio. That was fun. Take out a spider. A spider. It's a pleasant surprise. Couldn't bring them. One more completed. Okay, let's see. Tracked it. Okay. I need to go to the
Cool. Who do I have anyway? 32. Okay. When I click out that four, we go to Hogs Mead real fast. Then we'll go to Penny. And we'll sell her this stuff just really quickly. And then we're going to come to end for a day. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. I hope everybody's doing great and having a good day slash night, whatever it is for you. Wonderful to see you back here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. We'll have more daily content. You don't want to miss out. You never know what we might do next. After we get these two games done here at Hogwarts, because I'm not really that much more left in this one here, I don't think. It could be. Don't know. But... I'm already like 74% done, so there's only like 20% left, and I think there's about 20 some percent left of Assassin's Creed 2. So I appreciate the ones been watching, the ones been liking, the ones been subscribing, and if you haven't done done so, don't forget to do so. Because you never know what game we might play next. Drop the down below what kind of games you hey, like. You, you never know what game we might play. Travels. So thanks for watching, and peace out.